in your absence, optimized my formula. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. What? Oh, yes, well, that's obvious. Anyone with two working lamps can see this colony slouching toward oblivion. Why do you think we've been doing all this? I revived you to help me save Halcyon from annihilation. Hold on. Let me see if I understand this correctly. You're saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse? And the Chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself? I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. But that's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. That makes two things we don't have. Time and chemicals to revive the other settlers. None of this was supposed to happen. I was supposed to revive the Hope's colonists. We were supposed to have enough time to solve the problem before we all starved. Human test subjects. Oh, that's grotesque. That's unthinkable. That's exactly what I'd expect out of the board. Damn, that's not enough. Not nearly enough for the whole ship. I could revive a handful of settlers. Maybe, possibly, you know, ten. We're out of time. We're out of chemicals. We may very well be out of options. Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space just to make room in their hibernation chambers. Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists, the brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the Hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the Hope as we speak. We need to get to those colonists before the board. Merciful gibbering law, you're a genius! We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. Yes, yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. I don't know much about skip drives, not the physics, anyhow. I do know the hope's real massive. How's our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? Excellent question, my sharp-witted mechanic. You will use your own ship to power up the Hope skip drive. Your navigational computer can handle the rest. I don't understand a word you said, Doc. All I know is, if we're gonna hijack a colony ship, count me in. Yes, excellent. I approve of your enthusiasm, young man. You should ask your captain for a raise. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. Certainly. Unlikely. The Hope is as massive as the Groundbreaker, but compared to the Rings of Terra 2, positively minuscule. The board might notice, possibly. The it wouldn't surprise me. Skip drives were never designed to be used within a system, but I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you, and that turned out fine, mostly. 
That is, I ruined my ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but the maneuver was well within acceptable margins of risk. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Welcome back, Captain. How can... I'll be here. We have arrived at the Hope. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra too, or the Sun. If you don't mind my saying, Captain, Minister Clark is lucky to have you on his side. Captain, I hope Dr. Wells has not dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again. My diagnosis of his mental stability is not flattering. Not exploding, so I guess it worked. All right, hushing up. You know, when they posted us here, I told them there wasn't any point. Nobody would be so stupid as to fly to the ass end of the colony for this derelict. Shows how much I know. You've got about five seconds to tell me what you're doing here before I make you take a walk outside. Ugh, I don't want to know. Your lab coats do the filthiest work. All right, 
You'll want a uniform so my staff doesn't shoot you on sight. We've got a few extra in the old badge station to my right. Good luck. Nicely done. Looking good, soldier. Searching for trespassers discovered. Error. 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 This unit is functioning correctly. to scratch my name on one of those pods? Yeah, I figured.
comm systems, and am attempting to establish contact with the Hope's more primitive processor. I see you've located the stasis chambers. Which pod were you slumbering in for so long, Captain? The missing one, I take it? Hey, boss, I want to talk to you. You know, they're going to make a serial about our adventures one day. I've been trying to think of a good title for this episode. I like the sound of the skip job. No, 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 wait, I got it. Hope in dark times. Get it? Hope? Like the ship. That's what folks in the business call wordplay. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. Got a list right here. Thrilling tales of the unreliable. Or maybe spine-chilling stories from the edge of the system. Was also considering astounding adventures in the other. I'm partial to that last one. Not bad. Got a nice ring to it. Stealing the hope from the board, skipping it across the whole damn system. <laughs> this is gonna be great. I can't wait. Enough to boost my pay? I'm just kidding, boss. I know you don't pay me. I'm sure you've got plans to make. As for me, I gotta keep practicing my signature dropkick. The hope might have cameras. Yeah. Sam for a cleanup. These were the private quarters of the Hope's former crew. Shall we hold a moment of silence for the dearly departed? No? That's odd, because my programming would indicate that when forced to confront the idea of self-death, organics prefer... Oh, I see. Yes, never mind. I don't know if we should be in here, Captain.
That's the Hope's computer up ahead. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him. Hope so much I knew they were sisters, but it's eerie. It's like walking in another universe where we all died. Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling, but it'll do. Probably not, but don't let that stop you. Hmm. My consolation executables could use some beefing up. Searching. Please stand by. Ah, found one. It will go great, Captain. I am almost 4.01% certain we will not die. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. And also potentially kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved? Jump-starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. I wouldn't advise that, Captain. Worst ways to go out, I suppose. It's nice knowing you, boss. Admitting a deficit? Bye. You never cease to amaze me, Captain. Skipping the hope in three, two, one. ADA, does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? That is what my captain intends, yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport, and this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something, now. Good. We are still alive and have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. Hey, we made it. Let's do it again. Some people said the hope was just a fable. Here we are. Yeah, huh? Recognize you. Are you new here? 
I'm just trying to make sure you belong here. Yeah, you're definitely new here. I don't want any trouble out of you. Let me go. Captain, I am receiving a transmission I from Dr. Wells. Won that the round. transmission is marked with priority you status. You seem to, Urgent! Huh? That's because I'm usually right. Next time. Captain, I shall now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. The board is here. They've found me somehow. They're about to blast my door open. I can't stop them from getting me, and there isn't enough time to explain everything. But there's something very important you need to remember. The board. All their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine. Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine. You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me! I'll never... It would seem the recording captured some rather dire events. How can I be of assistance? I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. Something on your mind? It's like even that's what. Hey, Cap. 